I am a traveler, but no, not one of those. I don't even travel that much. I'm a traveler that will go everywhere. Maybe not everywhere, but to some places. I try to share my experience through videos and don't expect any great video, at least not so far. Lastly, I've not been posting a lot of Myanmar. I'm running away from my niche a little bit. That's why the views are low, but I'll still post one more video from Thailand. So I just found this post here on Quora. Seven difference between a tourist and a traveler. Well, on this point here, I think I identify with both of them. I do try to stay in my comfort zone, but I end up forcing myself to go out and meet new people. But I don't really talk to people. That's me everywhere in the world. Even in my hometown, I don't really talk to people. The main reason why I got the job in Myanmar is because I wanted to meet people, to meet locals and maybe get to learn their language. I don't know much of the language, but pretty much everyone in my working place are locals. Number two, tourists, they rest for comfort. I guess I'm a tourist then. Well, I dress for comfort. This is what I use like 90% of the times. I have a few of them, so every time I have one cleaned and ready to use. So number two, I don't know. You let me know down below. Number three, tourist sticks out and travel blends in. A traveler does the best to blend with locals. That's a little bit hard, but I think I do it pretty well. Even though that everyone that looks at me will think like, he's not from here. Four, a tourist eats comfort food. A traveler tries out the local food. Yeah, just give me a Moringa. 5. Tourist sticks with their native tongues. English is not my native language, so I'm not a tourist. A traveler makes an attempt to learn the local language. They know that learning how to say simple things like please, thank you and hello makes much more of a difference. The first word there is please and exactly the one that I don't know. And someone told me that Jesuba is rude, we should use like Jesu de Mbade, but I still don't know why. But still, I also know Mingalaba, so I'm going for a traveler here as well. 6. The tourist buys the first overpriced... Well, that's not me. I don't buy anything that is overpriced. Travelers take it out for the deals. Obviously, that's me. And there is no better deal than you leaving a like in this video. Tourists rely on maps. Travelers trust the instincts. I do both here. This isn't to say that they don't use Google Maps. Well, I'm a traveler and I have to go.